On this channel, I usually record videos about .NET development. But today, I will do something different. I will talk about my preparation for the upcoming .NET Conf 2023 when .NET 8 will be released. I'll give you a few reasons why you want to mark it in your calendar as well. First of all, what is the .NET Conf and why should you care? Well, the .NET Conf is the biggest Microsoft-organized .NET event in the entire year. And .NET 8 will be released. Many known Microsoft managers and engineers have sessions at the .NET Conf and there will be a big keynote opening the conference. There are also community members providing talks about interesting topics all around .NET development. If you only have an hour to spare, I highly recommend watching the keynote. Speakers such as Damien Edwards, Safia Abdallah, David Fowler, Daniel Ruff, Maddie Montequila and many more will share what's coming with .NET 8. This session covers everything from cloud, mobile, desktop, web, AI, IoT and all other .NET areas. Right after the keynote, Steve Sanderson and Daniel Roth will present my most anticipated session from this year's .NET Conf. The title Full Stack Web UI with Blazor in .NET 8 says it all. I already played a lot with the preview versions and the release candidates of .NET 8. However, I'm sure this session will bring something new to the table and I'm curious to find out what it is. .NET 8 will make Blazor viable for a lot more scenarios than just building single-page web applications. And I'm excited to see what people will build with .NET 8 and Blazor. I love C Sharp and it has definitely changed the way I think about programming and how I implement my .NET applications. And starting with .NET 5, we get a new C Sharp version every year with the release of a new .NET version. For C Sharp 12, I'm mainly looking forward to primary constructors, which I already covered in detail in a preview video of .NET 8 on this channel. There are other features, including collection expressions. But I'm definitely looking forward to this session to explore everything we need to know about C Sharp 12. Besides the sessions I already mentioned, we also get one about the Visual Studio Code, C Sharp Dev Kit, Entity Framework Core and .NET AI. To end the day, we get two practical sessions about building intelligent apps with .NET and Azure, as well as building fast ASP.NET Core APIs with native AOT. There will also be a session about what's new in .NET MAUI. Day 2 is more individual, depending on what's interesting to you. For me, the ASP.NET Core Authentication Simplified session by Stephen Halter and Jeremy Lickness will be the most interesting. .NET MAUI Hybrid Apps is also a great session showing how to use Blazor components in .NET MAUI apps. There is much more going on and I'm sure you'll find something that's interesting to you. Even though it will start at half past midnight where I live, I'll probably watch Philip Eckberg's session about the evolution and new features in different C-sharp versions on day 3. I have been following his content for over a decade and he definitely knows what he's talking about. There are also many sessions showing migrations from older versions and frameworks to .NET 8. If that is something you're dealing with, Following those sessions will probably save you a lot more time migrating your legacy applications. The .NET Conf 2023 will be starting on November 14th and last for 3 days. And I will be back with another .NET development focused video next week. If you want to see more, like the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more future .NET content. And I will see you in the next video.